Chicago, 1963. Last week on Crime Story, Ray Lucas' scheme for a national gambling operation centered on buying the Las Vegas sports book owned by Noah Gans, a major Nevada odds maker. Acting on his own, Luca ordered Frank Holman to St. Louis to steal a book from Gans's home. The book contains the sports world contacts from which Gans builds the odds on sporting events. Manny Weisbord told Luca to negotiate first before taking overt action, and Ray Luca realized he was out on a limb. He was further out than he knew because Lieutenant Michael Torello and the MCU had Holman under surveillance and tailed him to St. Louis. Torello caught Holman in the act of stealing Gans's book and carrying evidence linking him to the Novak murder. If indicted, Holman would roll over and give Torello Ray Luca. But before Torello could obtain a request for extradition and a warrant, Holman convinced a St. Louis sheriff to release him on his own recognizance. Holman promptly fled St. Louis and escaped from Torello. He is now a wanted fugitive. What has not escaped Torello, however, is the book Ray Luca had Holman steal. It is in Michael Torello's possession, and Ray Luca is in trouble. Tonight on Crime Story. So what's in the book? Do not know. Lab can't break the code because I haven't got a code key. But the boys are pretty sure it's mostly names and addresses, maybe a couple of bank account numbers. We got another problem. We lost that third trailer last night. What'd they get? A bunch of cigarettes. From where? A depot at 35th and Western. Joey and I covered it this morning. Loss was about 275,000 bucks. This can't be that difficult. Even if we can't read it, we should be able to figure out what it means. What's Gans's claim to fame? A major Vegas odds maker. Well, what business is it that Luca wants to set up? Nationwide bookmaking operation, Joey. So what's in here is crucial to that. He's an odds maker. He knows the names of the teams, athletes, coaches. Luca muscles Gans. Gant says no. Lucas steals the book. Let's turn up the pressure on Ray Luca and see if he makes a mistake. This will let Gans and everybody else know who's got the book. Find out where Gans is and mail this to him. Hello, Max? I'm Max Ray. It's me, Paulie. Keep in my heart. Yeah, all right. What do you want? You want us to move or not? You told me to wait for your nut. Yeah, yeah, move.
to go. We own it. Let's get this tied down. Come on, let's get this loaded. Ain't got all day. Boy, come here. What's the matter with you? What? What is this? A truck. What? What'd I do? You're phenomenal, you know that? But the more scores we put down, the dumber you get. What am I supposed to carry on this little truck? Your lunch? I can't get half the load on here. It's the best I could have ah, done. Shut up, Paulie. You're a mental case. You know that? Get out of my way. Get this tied over here. Just load it. You heard what the boss called me? Remarkable. Mr. Bartoli would like you at the house. Tell him when I'm finished with this job. He says right away. Yeah, I'll be there. Wally, wait here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Frank, how are you? You gotta wait a minute. Max, you didn't call. It's not good, Ray. A load of whiskey is on the way to Florida. What's going on here? This is your end on a cottage. We live by the rules, so we pay. But that's it. Okay, I give up. What happened? That was stupid, Ray. That was very stupid. We know about you taking Gans's book. Why do you think Max's face looks like putty? You tell everybody what you're gonna do? No. You go off and you do it all by yourself. You think you look like a hero? You look like a jerk! Not only do you take Gans's book, you lose it! And Torello at MCU has it! Gantz has gone to Cleveland. He said he could do your idea with them. Man, he's real upset, Ray. He's doing this with Cleveland. We don't know what he's doing, because he ain't talking, because a cop has got his book. I was making a move. Manny afraid to make moves? Manny Weisbord was making moves when you were still sucking on bottles. When Manny makes a move, the earth shakes, Ray. He's the king of making move, and when he makes a move, the one thing he doesn't do is fail. You embarrassed him. You make him look weak. People get ideas, Ray. I told you at the beginning how things work. Decisions are made at the top. You ain't at the top. You ain't any place. Now, you did this like, like an independent, like an amateur. Now, you get out. Ray. I 
put it to you this way. Nanny says you screwed up. Nanny says you fix it. Or you get fixed. Singapore sling with whipped cream. Scotch on the rocks. Square. Thank you. <laughs> so, Counselor, how's life in the public defender's office, huh? I think Mr. Taglia likes it pretty well. Ain't bad by me. Kept me out of jail so far. Yeah, well, you can't spend gratitude. I get by. Well, you'd make out a lot better if you left that bust out of a job you got. Now, David, I asked you before. Why don't you come with us? Ray, you don't need me. You're doing fine. Yeah, you think so? Hey, thank you, Terry. Cheers. Look, I am. Huh? <laughs> Wally, do me a favor. Don't feed your face at the bar, all right? David and I got some things to talk about. All right, thanks, Wally. So you play with this band a lot? Once in a while. You want to talk about music, Ray? Hey, listen. I got this, uh, I got this business deal. And it's going southbound. Got this group of investors together for this uh, real estate thing. It's concerning uh, a real hot piece of property. So? So the buyers and sellers are fighting each other like crazy, which puts me in the middle. And so now I got everybody jumping on my case. And? And that's it talking about big bucks. So negotiate between the two uh, parties. It's not that simple. Besides, negotiating is not my strong suit. Ray, I don't know what you're asking me. You're not good at negotiating? Don't negotiate. That's it? That's your advice for me? Look, Ray. Number one, you're not my client. Number two, I don't do civil law. And number three, I feel like I got a pretty hot hand tonight. So if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get back to the music. Look, thanks for the drink. Enjoy the evening. Yeah, sure. Go knock yourself out. This is him coming. Four of their last six shots. 
Drop Daddy O'Daly, your musical host who loves you most, dropping by to say hi, and for you to hear check some of the swinging sounds from I Supply. Tim, let's go. nothing on the trucks, but we shouldn't treat them as a dead issue. Did you get copies of the shipping papers? Yeah, right here. Uh, two loads came in piggyback on trains. The third was driven in from Harris Bay, Pennsylvania. All different shippers, all different destination. All different truck lanes. What's the exact location they're grabbed from? Well, two loads came off the lots. Uh, the third one, uh, right out of the garage. All right, here's what I want. Hey. Hi. Hi. How you feeling? Oh, that's so good. What is this? I knew you guys would be working late. I figured you'd be hungry. What's he doing here? Do doesn't he work with you? Prima Donna. I knew she was yours because, you know, you got all the jazz and you, you have all my sympathies. I'm paying for the pizza. Cubs one in ten. Ron Santo could have cleaned up. Listen, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get out of here. I had a long day, too. I'm going to go home and crawl in bed. All right, I'll be there as soon as I can. No rush. I wanted to wake me up when you get there. It's a deal. Come on. Night, guys. Night. Night. Thank you. What happened to you? I was in the yard, watching, listening. A pit bull. It was terrible, Commandante, but uh, Ignacio, as usual, was victorious. Pit bull is over at Cook County Hospital, if you want to talk to him. I hope he looks worse than you. <laughs> and then this woman there, with a broom. A witch. No, she said I was peeping through her window. I am many things, but looking through a window? How'd she look? Not bad. Uh... Where were we? Uh, what now, Comandante? Go home. Hey, Byrne. Oh, uh... Good pizza. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jake. It's all small stuff. It could be moved easy through discount houses. And each trailer load is worth a couple of hundred thousand dollars. And they know always which one to grab, which means they got somebody inside the trucking company setting up the scores, which means you guys got a lot of people to round up. How's the pizza? At 3.20 a.m. yesterday, somebody stole a tractor trailer load of cigarettes off of your property. One of you is responsible for that theft. You dragged me down here at this hour to accuse me of stealing from my own company? What's your name? 
Walsh. John Walsh. What do you do? I'm the district manager for the Eastern Ohio Railroad. Are you a thief, too? Look, you can't talk I to can't? me. I can't? You should be happy we're all down here trying to find out who stole your property. You talk as though it's your property. My property? No. But when $200,000 worth of merchandise disappears, my bosses think I'm not doing my job. You get the message? When it gets stolen, it becomes my property until I find out who stole it, which starts with you guys because one of you guys gave up this score. They had the time, the place, the trailer numbers, the bills of lading, everything. And I'll drag you down here every night until I get something. What's your name? Crowdy. You reported the loss? I come in, I got my bills of lading. Joe, there. He told me where the rig was. I go out. No rig. I go back in and uh, Joe calls the cops. Yes, sir. I called right away. Good. You ever been arrested? Never. What's your claim to fame? I'm a husband and a father. I believe in God and the scriptures. Ever do any time? You're all going to take lie tests. You ever hear of the Escobedo rule? Hey, to me, Escobedo was a guy who played the outfield for the White Sox. You feel you need a lawyer? No, I... Wait till after the test. The first one who doesn't want to take a test? I know where to look. We talk privately. In my office. You're going to tell me how you've been tipping off those loads, and you're going to tell me about the next load. Where, when, and how. You got it? You got it? Do me a favor. Holman's in Cleveland by Swagger. Contact him and tell him don't go anywhere. What are you doing? What did I just say, huh? All right, all right. Listen, my guy with the trucks is coming in with a couple of good loads for us. I don't have time for that. I have other matters that need my attention, all right? I got a guy we can deal direct to. No fuss, no muss, in and out. <laughs> no fuss, no muss. You sound like a TV commercial. You had trouble, Ray? Nah. What's the problem, then? Can we talk about it? You want to play some gym? Yeah, all right. Penny a point? Okay. Yeah, tell you guys to take a load. Gotta tell you, that executive pal of yours is like gold. What'd they grab? A uh, truckload of those new cameras where you get the picture right away. We use a traffic helicopter for the tail. We'd have never been able to stay with them through the streets. Pretty slick, huh? Swing with the rig, lay it up here for a couple of days. Who'd ever find it, right? You lost the crew? Yeah, but the bonus is we got most of the cigarettes back. Right here. Great. We got two trucks, three $400,000 recovery. Sounds like we're hurting Luca where it stings the most. In his pocket. And he's got a brand new house. Let's get this junk inventoried and get it back to tribal owners, huh? And let's bring our friend Ray Luca a housewarming gift. Go back inside. Take the kids and go back. Go back inside, all right? Please.
I'm not looking for advice anymore. I want you to go to work for me now. Here's 30 grand. I don't want your money. I only represent indigent clients. It's good money. What's wrong with you? I don't want it. You take it, Dave. You hear me? Look, Ray. You and I have a couple of drinks. We like the same music. That's as far as it goes. You take your money to D. Morton. I don't want D. Morton. I want you. I'm not a mob lawyer. I get to choose the work that I want to do. Do you? You're threatening me. Look, David. I need, I need you to arrange for your father to call Manny Weisbord for me. I mean, they came up together. Manny will listen to him. You want to talk to my father? Call him. No, damn it! You got to tell him to do this! I don't have to do a damn thing. I don't work for you, Luca, and I don't work for my father. You have no idea what's going on here, and I'm getting nowhere! What, this negotiation? It's a lousy apartment building, isn't it, Ray? Yeah, right. Don't forget your money. Keep it. Then your cleaning lady's gonna have an early Christmas. Something's wrong, Danny. Julie Terrell, where is she? Oh. Come on, come on, where is she? She's been moved to room 213. What's the fastest way there? Stairs. Oh, there. She's all right. Uh, she had a miscarriage. She can probably still have children. Can I see her? Yeah, of course. Hi. Hi.
told me that everything was going to be all right. But things like this happen. Maybe it's not a good idea. Don't say that. You know what I want? I think I want to be left alone. Would you leave me alone, please? <laughs> think any more about having children, Michael. What's happening to us? They haven't invented the hard time we can't handle. I was there at the vault of Astoria in 1933, when Luciano, Anastasia, Lansky, Castello, Siegel, and all the others got together. And it all became an organization for the first time. This is a business like any other business. Methods, what, what methods? The methods are the same as the Carnegie's and the Morgan's when they started. You show me the sin in giving people what they want and taking a bet and making money. It's a business, that's all. Like any other business. I don't want any part of that business. I've seen all the justice money can buy. Who I'm most interested in defending? People with the wrong color skin. People who live on the wrong side of town. People who speak the wrong language. What's he got to do with anything? He's just a punk from the patch. I told you at the beginning how things work. Decisions are made at the top. You ain't at the top. You ain't any place. Ray, I don't know what you're asking me. You're not good at negotiating? Don't negotiate. Nothing but a punk in a shark skin suit. They're not fooling anybody. Think you can take over Nevada just because you whacked a couple guys on Halstead Street? An apartment building 
Right, yeah. Just an apartment building. You're not good at negotiating? Don't negotiate. Paulie, it's Ray. Okay, get the work car and come pick me up. Counselor, what brings you here? Money. Ray Luca dropped this money on me. I refused it. He left it anyway. Why tell me? I don't work for Luca, and I don't work for you. I know you're the one who's putting the pressure on Luca. I don't want it coming up that I took money from him. Seems to me, Counselor, that you're on a fence. You have a decision to make. Go be a mob lawyer and defend the Lucas of the world or prosecute the Lucas of the world. Nobody else out there accused of any crimes? Sure there is, but not for you. You're your father's son and you're victimized by that. Luca figures born to the outfit, die to the outfit. You don't have the full spectrum of the legal profession before you. You can forget about that. The Lucas of the world aren't going to let you live the life that you want to live. You're going to have to go one way or the other. On the other hand, Counselor, life for me is a bowl of cherries. Well, you're a lucky guy. The thing is, I like my fence and the work I do there. Don't forget your retainer. Yeah, Mr. Gans. <laughs> Cheers, Lloyd. Cheers, Noah. It would be so good to watch that two big punk come crawling in here with his hat in his hands, begging us to go easy. Should have seen the way that punk talked to me and Maury back in Chicago. I'm anxious to hear what he thinks he's got to negotiate. <laughs> Man, he's got to be sore as hell. He comes out looking like a jerk over this thing. <laughs> it's unbelievable. What's surprising to me is why Manny hooked up with Luca. I don't get it. Are you ready? Yeah, let's get my book back. All right, let's go. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get over to the other suite. Gans in them. They're moving, Frank. eat too much whenever I win. <laughs> Where do you get some antacid around here? Room service when we get up the Lucas suite. <laughs>
He's here. Yeah. Ray. Yes, Mr. Weisbord. You took care of them, Ray? Yeah, you won't hear from them anymore. Yeah, not Gantz, not McManus. Not the people around them. And also, uh, a new business partner, Maury Hartman, <laughs> formerly with Gantz, is finishing negotiations on our acquisition of the River Down Sportsbook. In Las Vegas. <laughs> I see. I hope so, Mr. Weisbord. Call me Manny. And by the way, Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Uh -huh. Oh! Here we go. I like the way you do business. <laughs> I think we're going to work well together. OK, Johnny. Sure. Yeah. Here we go. Wait for me, fellas. Paulie. Get some champagne, join the celebration. Salud. What'd you drag me in here for, Lieutenant? Shut up and sit down, Polly. Where's Holman? I don't know where Holman's at. What do you think, you keep getting free passes because you gave us the department store? That you can walk around the streets like a peacock? I want Holman, or I put you away for anything, from picking your nose to taking milk off the doorsteps. Now, where is he? I don't know. Where's Luca? Luca's in Vegas. Doing what? 10 to 10. What do I know about Don't so get smart with me, Polly. What am I, 411 on the telephone? You better be. You better be information to me, Polly, or I tell Luca who gave us Barnett's department store. Fine. And then I'm dead. And you got nothing. I ain't putting a gun to my head and pulling the trigger. You want to do it? Go ahead. But no way, no way am I going to help you get Ray Luca. Holman, I'll see what I can do. Scores? Yeah. But Luke ain't making scores. Luke is out of your reach. So forget it. Get out of here. 